Okay. Today I'm making another uh, spine tester for my arrows. This one's going to be set up for wooden and carbon. What I'm doing, what I did already, is cut a board 30 inches in length. And I put a gauge on it. All I did was cut a little slot, put it down in it, and glued it. I actually use super glue. We're going to see how well that works. If it don't work, I'll figure out a different way of mounting it. Originally I was going to use magnets to mount it into the board. But that's not very magnetic. It's not a true ferrous material. When you do that, you got to make sure that this is flush. And that way you've got enough room to stick your arrow on here and for the plunger to hit exactly center of the carbon arrow or wooden arrow. The only difference is between the wooden arrow and the carbon is the distance that you put your hooks. I've got it wrote down somewhere. It's been a while since I made one. I believe carbon arrows is 28 inches and do I can't remember if wood is a little bit longer or a little bit shorter but I will find out and let you know my next step is measuring from my center line out and I got to make sure that I got enough room for the plunger to come down onto the arrow and enough room to give me enough of the bend to give me a reading on the spine. So, let me turn you off and let me get back to work measuring, then I'll come back. Okay, I finished it. The This is right right now it's set up for carbon arrows. When I get ready to start measuring my wooden arrows, finding out Spines on them. These are set up at 28 inches apart. 15 inch center. And for my wooden arrows, I'm going to have to measure from the center out 13 inches, center 13 inches. From hook to hook for wooden arrows should be 26 inches. And to use this, you put your arrow shaft in Even it out. 
zero your gauge. The weight that you're going to be using is 1.94 pounds for carbon. Zero. The weight as close as you can get it. I've got mine set on millimeter, so it is 0.588, and what I do, I come over to my spine charts, spine conversion charts, and you can get these off in a Robin Hood archery. The website is www.robinhoodarchery.eu Echo Uniform .590 Then you come up to it This comes into A 45 pound bow. Those arrows will be shot out of my 45 pound bows down to my 40 pound. And they're supposed to be 500 carbons. My suggestion is check your arrows even if you buy them online or even at a store check your arrows these are supposed to be 500 and they come out to almost 600 arrows 600 spine these are a handy thing to have So, I hope this uh, gives you an idea of what to do. You don't have to use cedar, and you don't have to use a digital dial. I picked this one up at uh, Harbor Freight. I think right around $30. The cedar board, maybe what I've used here, maybe about four or five bucks. And the hooks I had laying around. What I'm using for weight, I've got a muzzle loader, and I'm just using a bag full. of musket balls. If I can ever open it up to show you. I used a combination of uh, 454s and 50 cal. Musket balls. And it works pretty good. That's what I've always used.
Now, Sasha made one, which looks uh, much prettier than mine, but mine's still functional. Take you over here and show you his. His is just a little bit prettier than mine. He used L brackets for the arrow holder. Same gauge. And he cut out a hole in the center of it where he can hang the weight through it and get his measurements. He did a really good job at it. But mine's made out of cedar. <laughs> That's all I got for you today. Hope this gave you some ideas. You can get the measurements off on, uh, the internet to make these. And it's not real difficult to make them. Compared to the ones that you buy for a couple hundred dollars, this does just as good. Like I said, that's all I got for you today. Keep the arrows flying, have fun, be safe at it.